From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. IKEA is talking about launching a restaurant chain. When you order, you'll have to put the food together yourself. Bill O'Reilly's exit from the Fox News Channel became official on Wednesday. Replacing Bill will be reruns of SpongeBob SquarePants. Nine lives or not, your cat could help you live longer. People who've owned a feline are 40% less likely to die of a heart attack, perhaps due to the pet's anxiety-easing powers. But get this, another study says household felines are able to manipulate you at whim with an urgent-sounding high-pitched meow, which is actually a purr mixed with a high-pitched cry. While some owners think cats purr when they're happy, some cats make the purr cry when they want to be fed, and people find the mixed calls annoying and difficult to ignore. The embedding of a cry within a call that we normally associate with contentment is quite a subtle means of eliciting a response, explains Karen McComb of the University of Sussex. Solicitation purring is probably more acceptable to humans than overt meowing, which is more likely to get them ejected from the bedroom. We think cats learn to dramatically exaggerate this purr cry when it proves effective in generating a response from humans," she says. So, in other words, cats know people like the back of their paws. The new trendy drink? Clear coffee, so you aren't continually staining your teeth. Although at $3.50 a serving, I think I'll just use toothpaste instead. A Florida couple has set a record by going on their 200th carnival cruise. Uh, separately, I might add, which is the secret to their happy marriage. Netflix says it's true – their subscribers have spent over 500 million hours watching Adam Sandler movies. I guess I can't be so prideful now about calling myself a Netflix user. North Korean men can choose from among 15 sanctioned hairdos but they are not allowed to get the Kim Jong-un haircut. Really? They, that, geez, that, that's a problem? I mean, is there a big demand to look like that? The police chief of Sperry, Oklahoma, wrote himself a $300 speeding ticket. A citizen had complained about seeing him speeding. He admitted it, and so he's paying the fine. And then he had to write himself another ticket for disturbing the peace when he cursed himself for giving himself a ticket. Japan is trying to stop their death by overworking problem by placing a limit of 100 hours of overtime per month, which, if you are a YouTube creator, you know is still considered a normal work week. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. And if you're already an official weirdo, be sure to leave a comment and say so. Hey, have you signed up for the Marler Sheet? It's free and it's the official newsletter of Marler House. Subscribers to the Marler Sheet are automatically entered in monthly prize drawings. Sign up for the Marler Sheet free today at MarlerHouse.com. For more weird news anytime, visit DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marler, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!